Hi, I'm Vaidatas and today I will show you how to create a professional email account. Shall we get started? Emails are one of the most popular online communication methods, especially in a professional setting. While there are plenty of free and popular email providers such as Gmail, Yahoo, and Outlook, having a custom email address can be immensely helpful for those who run their own businesses. That said, let's see how to create an email account. The first step of creating a professional mail address is to choose and register a domain name. This domain name will appear after the at sign on the email address. For example, name at yourdomain.com. You can buy a domain name from a domain registrar that allows you to register it up to several years and renew the license periodically. You can also get a free domain name bundle with some hosting or hosting plans. Therefore, you don't have to worry about buying one separately. One thing you need to remember before purchasing and registering a domain is to ensure you're to check its availability with a domain name checker like the one offered by Hostinger. Let's look at how we can use the domain name checker and register a domain name here on Hostinger. To use the domain checker, visit Hostinger and head over to the domain menu and choose domain name search. Type your desired domain name on the search bar, then click search to check its availability. If you aren't sure which domain name to pick, you can use a domain name generator to catch some ideas. Once the search is complete, the tool will show you if your domain name is available. Keep in mind that the domain name checker will search for the .com extension by default. However, you don't have to worry if your domain name is unavailable with the .com extension since it will also suggest other options. Choose an available domain, click Add to Cart, and then continue to cart. Select a period between one to three years, create an account if you haven't made one yet, and select your preferred payment method. Once you click on Submit Secure Payment, log into your account. The next screen will present multiple forms to fill out. The information you enter here is important, as it will be shown in the Whois Domain Database, which contains the latest data registered for the domain name. Once everything is finished, don't forget to verify the domain by checking the verification email sent by hosting it within 15 days. And there you go! Your domain name is now active and ready for use. Once you have a domain name ready, choose an email hosting plan. All of Hostinger's web hosting plans come with free custom emails. However, Hostinger also offers two dedicated email hosting options powered by Titan Email. Hostinger's business email plan is suitable for small to medium businesses, while the enterprise email plan is perfect if you have a larger email traffic and require more storage. Both plans have advanced anti-spam, antivirus, and a one-click import feature to migrate to your old email to Hostinger. Choose your preferred email hosting plan by clicking the select button, then proceed with the checkout process. The next step is to set up your email service. I will show you how to set up a custom email using a web hosting plan and dedicated email hosting. You first need to log into your hosting account, head to the email section, and click manage on the email domain. You will be directed to a new window that shows your email account details. Click Email Accounts, then Create New Email Account to continue. You can create a new email account by entering a new email name, password, and recovery email addresses. Once you're done, click Create New Account. After creating the email, you can access the webmail or get the mobile application. Either way, the email account is ready to use, and you can click Done to finish the setup process. There is some configuration you should consider before starting to use your professional email address. One such thing is by adding a signature to your email. This can help increase professionalism and authority. Now, I will show you how to add a signature using hosting your webmail. All you need to do is log in to your webmail interface. Click on the icon gear on the top right and choose Preferences. Click on Signatures and then on Add a Signature. Assign a name to the signature and add the content. You can include your full name, business name, contact information, and business logo. Once you're done, click Save to finalize the changes. Now that your email account is ready, it is time to set up an email client on your device. An email client is an application that sends and receives emails directly across multiple devices, including desktop computers and mobile phones. The main benefit of using an email client is managing multiple emails in one place, making your work more efficient. 
Some email clients can also help improve your productivity by providing integration with various apps, such as Google Calendar and Dropbox. I will show you how to set up an email client using two free email applications. But first, let's take a look at how to configure email clients on Hostinger's web and Titan email hosting. If you use Hostinger's Titan email hosting, the first thing we'll do is log into your account and open the email settings. Click on Configure Desktop app to get the email server settings. This is where you can get all the incoming and outgoing mail server details. Once you get all the necessary information for the setup process, all you have to do is to add them to the email client application. This process may vary slightly depending on what application you're using. I will use Mozilla Thunderbird and Apple Mail as examples. For Thunderbird, enter your name, email address, and password. Click Continue to proceed. Thunderbird may automatically detect and adjust your account settings based on your domain's name. If that's the case, click Done to finish the process. However, there's a chance that Thunderbird will not find your email account settings. Therefore, you need to configure the IMAP and POP3 ports manually. To do that, input all the details based on what you got from your email hosting. Click Retest to ensure the system can configure your address, then click Done to finalize the process. Now you should be able to send and manage emails directly from your Mozilla Thunderbird client. If you wish to add an inbox for a different email address, simply repeat the same process. Access your Apple Mail client, navigate to Mail, Add Account, and click on Other Mail Account. Once the pop-up screen appears, enter the necessary details such as your name, email address, and password, and click Sign In. Apple Mail will attempt to connect to your email server automatically, allowing you to finish the process immediately. However, it is also possible to configure the ports manually if the system fails that automatic setup process. To do that, manually enter the incoming outgoing mail server values and ports. Once finished, click the Sign In button to finalize the setup. You can now effectively manage all your mailboxes in a single application. Follow these steps again if you wish to add another mailbox. Congratulations! Your professional email account is now ready for use and you can access it via the email client application of your choice. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Hostinger Academy YouTube channel for more videos about website development and tech related content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around.